up Loop community? My name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and in this session we're going to show you how you can make a custom click in MainStage. So we've got MainStage set up, we've got our playback tracks ready to play back, we've got our screen controls ready to control, and we've got our patch list which contains all of our different songs in our set. Now, one of the common things that we hear a lot is that sometimes your drummer may not like playing to a click or getting your band to play to a click can be pretty challenging. And in a lot of cases it can be. But luckily MainStage gives us a lot of different options to try out different types of clicks that'll work best for you and your team. Now I'm going to go ahead and solo the click that comes with this particular track. And if I press play so I can launch it on Looptimus. That's a pretty solid quarter note click. Well, let's mute that, because what if you didn't have a click? I'm going to go ahead and enable MainStage's main click, and if we click Intro, on that, two, three, four. you can kind of hear that it sort of comes through in the background. In fact, let me go ahead and uh, solo out or mute Intro, all two, of the other three, sounds here. And this is the current click, and, and you've got some options with this as well. And if I click on this, Klopfgeist, that's the stock click uh, that comes with Logic. There's a couple things we can do. We can, we can, you know, increase the pitch of it. Change the tonality of it. So that it cuts through a little bit more. Sometimes a click can get lost in the mix. So Klopfgeist will give you some different options to kind of get set up. But that's about it. There's not really any further ways that we can subdivide this click. And so this also might not be a best option for us. In fact, right now it's pretty much pretty, pretty similar to uh, the stock click. Not much different. And to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm actually not a big fan of Klopfgeist. Even though it's helpful, it's helpful to have, the, the stock click might not be the click that works for you. Luckily, we can create a custom click using one of MainStage's stock instruments called Ultrabeat. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a click custom for Joy. And we're going to go ahead and do that by creating and just adding a new track up here at the patch level. So if I add a channel strip, it'll ask me what kind of channel strip I want. I want an instrument channel strip. Um, I don't need to control it with any MIDI inputs right now, uh, and I'll just click Create. Now I'll go ahead and click on the instrument plugin insert, and I'm just going to go down to where it says Ultra Beat, and the stereo one is fine for now. And when we do that, Ultra Beat will open up. Now there is a lot going on in Ultra Beat, but luckily we don't have to worry about too much of this right now. We'll cover this a little bit more in depth in our production series. But for now, the thing to note about Ultrabeat is that it's just a drum machine. And all the buttons here on the left-hand side, these are all the individual sounds that you get inside of Ultrabeat. Right now, I've got a kick, I've got a click, I've got a snare. You can try a lot of these out all together. Uh, and if you wanted to try a different sound out, then you can, you can select one of the many presets that come with uh, Ultrabeat. So I'll do this analog techno kit so we can kind of uh, try some of these out. Uh, I can go down to drum banks, I can try some different drum banks, so if I wanted to try like a uh, percussion bank for example. I can use all these percussion sounds and we'll just use these as our basic clicks. This is a nice one, this block, and uh, this cowbell, block, cowbell, great. So. It's a drum machine, and so that means that we can try out a bunch of different sounds, but we can also sequence out, or we can program a set of patterns, or a set of rhythms, or a set of subdivided clicks. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my Ultra Beat on, I'm gonna press play. You can see there's currently a really busy option set up altogether, and I'm just gonna choose a different sequence. I'm gonna clear out my pattern. I'm gonna go down to an empty bank right here, like 10, A, negative one. And when I go to full view, which you can see right here at the bottom right, that's going to open up my drum sequencer. Now, I don't need this drum sequencer to be 32 uh, values long. I just need maybe a bar or two. And the sounds that I was working with is my cowbell and my block. 
My block will be my, my main hit, so I'll have that happen on the one and five here. Whoops, wrong button. Block one and five. And my cowbell will be my other note. So I'll just click and drag to select my different options. Now I can kind of uh, ease that up. I don't think I really need that to be that long. Let's see what we get from there. Cool. And you can see that with UltraBeat, we can start programming in different subdivisions for a click for us. Um, so I think what I actually want to do is kind of have a, a bit of a longer draw, drawn out click here. So let's try this out. Great. And uh, there's also a few other things that we can do. Let's see what that sounds like currently with the rest of the song. So I'll unmute all of the rest of our sounds here. Intro. Two. Three, four. One thing that you definitely want to make sure is that you want to make sure that the play button is enabled so that it plays right at the beginning of your project. Intro. Two, three, four. You can see now we've created a custom click for this First. particular um, song. Intro. Two, three, four. And sometimes the, the feedback from clicks is that it's too rigid, it's too, you know, straightforward, and, and it's all about the feeling. Well, luckily, UltraBeat has an option here where you can actually enable swing. So that enables you to actually give the song more of a groove. So rather than being so straight, we can really swing the song uh, and have your drummer play to, to something that's more of a groove. Let's, let's see what that sounds like. Intro. Two, three, four. You can hear if I turn it off all together, it's a little bit more rigid. Intro, two, three, and if I swing four. it all the way, there's a little bit more of a, of a relaxed feel to it. Verse. Intro, two, three, four. And you can get really, uh, re really crazy with this. Verse. Intro, two, three, <laughs> four. Anyway, you can get carried away with it pretty easily, but uh, if you're trying to program a custom click, UltraBeat's a really great tool for you to work with. And the next time that you launch this particular uh, song, UltraBeat will start in sync with the actual song itself. So let me press play again so you can hear what that sounds like. Intro. Two, three, four. Great, so that's how you can create a custom click in main stage using UltraBeat.